another quick video. They've got to be quick because there's lots of people arriving. I'm on the outside of the wall now. It's amazing, isn't it? It's just amazing. I'm going to go around again because I'm going to need to take more photos. I'm doing what I call a quick scan. See the layers, they've got like the pebble dash, then you've got like these sandwich layers in there. This was some sort of gate or something, I've got to read up all about it later. I'll put captions to the video. I say it's not easy to video when you're, when there's other people around. I'm just basically this is the outside of this uh, town that had to be reinforced for lots of defense reasons and the, hence the Valium ditches from invaders you see if this was the, one of the first forts put here so as you can see how it's got more eroded at the top with the wind and the rain Trying to do video before people come around corners. During the later 3rd AD, conditions within the Roman Empire were becoming increasingly unstable. They suffered from pirate raids, which probably led to civilian unrest, military instability, and the loss of confidence in the coinage. To deal with these problems, a series of new forts were built around the southeast of the coast of England and along the coast of Gaul, providing a unified system guarding both sides of the channel. These forts were under a single command and became known as the Forts of the Saxon Shore. The final phase of Roman occupation at Richborough belongs to this system and is represented by the massive stone and flint walls which dominate the site. The fort is rectangular in shape with towers at regular intervals along each side. It was entered through the gates in the centre each side and was surrounded by double ditches. On the west side there are three ditches for part of the length where the Roman builders made a mistake. The walls were built of a small ashlar blocks with lacing courses of tile around a core of flint and mortar. They were built in lengths by several gangs of people working at the same time. You can see where these lengths join. Most of the buildings within this fort were of timber construction and no longer survive. Only three stone buildings belong to this fort, the bathhouse and two buildings thought to be temples. So one of the dishes was a mistake. I thought there was only two. <laughs> 